This video tutorial I will cover methods supported by application context interface. Here you can see application context interface. Here you can see the super interfaces of application context interface. Application context interface extends bean factory interface. So whatever methods supported by bean factory interface will be supported by application context interface. Here you can see the sub interfaces of application context interface. And here you can see the list of classes which implements application context interface. Next we will see how to use some of the methods of application context interface. Here I have defined the class employee and it has name property and setter method for name property and it has employee details method. This is a spring configuration file. Here we have mentioned employee object should be created by the spring container and name property of employee object should be set as Peter. Using this unique identifier, we can get employee object from spring container. Here I have defined the class uh, app. I am running this program in uh, debug mode. Here I have created uh, application context object by reading uh, spring configuration file. Then I am calling uh, getBean method and passing uh, bean ID as employee, which is uh, configured here. This method returns uh, object. Then I am typecasting uh, object to employee object. Then I am calling uh, employee details method of uh, employee object. This is the first way of getting employee object or employee bean from spring container. Then I am calling get bean method and passing bean id as employee and employee dot class. This method directly return employee object. We no need to typecast object to employee like first method. This is the second way of getting employee object or employee bean from spring container. Here I am calling get bean method and passing employee dot class. This method directly return employee object. This is the third way of getting employee object or employee bean from spring container. Then I am calling uh, contains bean method and passing uh, bean id as uh, employee. This method check whether uh, employee bean is available in uh, spring container or not. If it is available, it returns uh, true, else it will return false. Employee bean is uh, available in spring container, so it returns uh, true. Then I am calling uh, is singleton method and passing uh, bean id as uh, employee. This method check whether uh, employee bean is a singleton or not. If it is a singleton, it returns true, else it will return false. Employee bean is a singleton, so it returns uh, true. Singleton means spring container always returns uh, same instance. Then I am calling uh, is prototype method and passing uh, bean id as uh, employee. This method check whether uh, employee bean is uh, prototype or not. If it is prototype, it returns true, else it will return false.
employee bin is uh, not a prototype so it returns uh, false prototype means spring container always returns independent instances then i am calling uh, get display name method it returns uh, display name If you want to know more about uh, application context, then go to this uh, documentation.